Hey everybody, this is Stuart with Wine on the Diamond. Today I'm reviewing the 2020 Garzon Tanat Reserva. It's from Uruguay, that's right, Uruguay, and it is 14% alcohol by volume. I saw this in the South American section of my local grocery store and thought, you know what, I hadn't had Tanat from South America. Let me go ahead and get it. I didn't look to see where it was from. I thought, like, to be honest, I thought it was probably gonna be like Chilean or uh, Argentinian because when you think about when you think about the biggest wine growing countries in South America, those are it. And then when I got home right before I shot this video, I saw that this was from Uruguay. So now I'm interested to see it because I can't remember the last time I've had a wine from Uruguay. Anyway, let me get this thing open and let's take a look at the color. All right, so whew. from a color standpoint, you are a deep purple, no artifacts, no cloudiness. All right, so uh, while my needy cat gets her cuddles um, <laughs> on the nose, whew, that's dark fruit. I mean, there's plum, there's blackberry, there's a little bit of black cherry, kind of a dark chocolate note going on. Well, kind of a little bit of a nuttiness, like a, like a walnut. Yeah, and I would say the alcohol is medium. I mean, it's just a lot of, man, just a lot of concentrated dark fruit. Anyway, how does it taste? High tannins, that that plum is the dominant note here. Plum, kind of with the blackberry, maybe a hint of that black cherry. It's actually a little bit bitter too, uh, almost as if like you did kind of bite into some heavy, grade cocoa dark chocolate. Is it a grade? I don't know. Percentage? Concentration? That's what I'm gonna say. Uh, alcohol taste medium. And as usual, I forgot to do the nose intensity. So the nose intensity is medium. Uh, the palate intensity is medium plus. It's a dry wine. And that's kind of it. So uh, let's get to the blick. Uh, so from balance standpoint, full point. I actually was a little bit worried about the tannins on here because I, I've had French tonight. I've had a lot of Texas Tanat, which is very tannic, very, very robust and alcoholic. I was wondering what the the Tanat from Uruguay would be like, and it's a lot softer than I thought it would be. So that's nice. It actually, with the amount of acid, medium plus acid, with the amount of acid and the flavors and the intensity, it, it really works. Everything works together, so full point. Uh, length, medium plus finish, 0.75. Intensity, medium on the nose, medium plus on the palate, half a point. So in terms of complexity, uh, what you smell is what you taste. Uh, and in pretty much that kind of intensity as well, starting with that plum and then kind of working into that, that dark chocolate, that bitter dark chocolate note that comes through. One thing I did get on the palate that I didn't get on the nose is that there is like a little bit of like a campfire smoke that uh, develops going from the mid palate into the finish, uh, but it doesn't stick a very, around very long into the finish either. So um, it's just kind of there, but uh, nothing that's like super impressive about it. So that being said on complexity, uh, so you do have some secondary, um, but barely. So you're just really primary fruit driven. So on that note, I'm just gonna give you half a point. So in the end, this is a good wine. Okay, now you're done. It took the whole review. 2022 might be too soon to drink this wine. Um, you could easily sit on this wine for five, possibly 10 years. During that time, it's gonna start developing. Um, it's gonna actually allow for some of those primary elements to start to develop tertiary, which will add to the complexity, and that will transition this into a very good wine. But with where it's at now, it it is a solid Tanat. Uh, it's a lighter tonight, Tanat, three, two, one. Anyway, with all that being said, uh, it is a solid Tanat. It's a lighter Tanat than I thought it would be. And, um, well, I think I'm gonna explore Uruguay in a glass a little bit more while I edit this video. Anyway, this has been Stuart with Wine on the Dime. If you liked today's video, please like, subscribe, and comment. Have you had the 2020 Garzon Tanat Reserve? I'd be interested to know if you have. Leave a comment below, and I'll see y'all again soon with another review from Wine on the Dime.